What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic and today I wanna to talk a little bit about the benefits of a dedicated home theater amplifier and give you my thoughts on the Emotiva XPA11 Gen 3. So when I first got into home theater as a kid, I thought an amplifier and a home theater receiver were exactly the same thing. Hell, I even used to call my receiver an amp. Now to be fair, a home theater receiver can be called an amplifier since it usually has an amp in it, but that's different from a dedicated amplifier. Now for most people, as long as you don't have huge power hungry speakers, a decent home theater receiver is usually just fine as long as you don't go super cheap. But if you wanna get the best possible sound out of your speakers, then that's where a dedicated amplifier comes in. So for example, you might see a 5.2 channel home theater receiver that claims 725 watts of total power, and you think to yourself, wow, for 279 bucks, that's a great deal. The reality is that the receiver doesn't actually produce anywhere near that many watts, so you're getting a lot of marketing trickery here. And without getting too technical, this is often due to the fact that they're working with limited space inside the receiver, as well as power supply limitations. Now, amplifier manufacturers, on the other hand, tend to be a bit more straightforward with their wattage claims and tend to produce cleaner, higher quality sound than the average receiver. Now I'm not trying to bash home theater receiver manufacturers at all. I've been perfectly happy running my denim receiver for years, but after having the opportunity to hear some really nice setups over the years, I realized that they produce better sound because they didn't rely on a receiver by itself, but had a dedicated amplifier for their speakers. So after hearing so many good things about Emotiva, I had to see if they had anything that would work for my Dolby Atmos setup. And that's when I came across the XPA 11 Gen three and figured this would be a great opportunity for me to give you my thoughts on it and tell you if a dedicated home theater amplifier actually makes a difference. So this 53 pound beast is an 11 channel amp that retails for $2,000. And it might just be one of the best looking as far as amplifiers go. Right away you can see the great craftsmanship and build quality that went into this thing. I really like the simple design with the brushed black finish. And it doesn't just look nice on the outside. Emotiva prides themselves in great craftsmanship inside and out, so they have high quality internal components as well. So considering it doesn't have any controls, it has a nice and simple design with all the connectors on the back and a few LED indicator lights on the front that light up when the unit is turned on. So if you're not familiar with power amplifiers, they have one job and that's to amplify your sound. So they don't do any sort of processing. This means you'll either need a preamp or a home theater receiver that has separate pre-outs on the back of it. So it basically sits in between your speakers and your receiver. And if you're interested in the cables I use to connect this to my receiver, I'll drop a link in the video description. So my Denon X6200W, which is a great receiver even though it's getting old, has a built-in amp that supports up to nine channels, but it has 11 pre-outs since it can process up to 11 channels. So the XPA11 has three high power channels, which you can see in the middle, and four stereo modules on the side for a total of 11 channels. And as you can see, there are XLR inputs on this as well, so each module has a switch or a button that you can use to switch between XLR or RCA, depending on what you're using for that channel. You'll also notice the trigger input and output, which we'll use to connect the amps to the receiver so that the amp automatically turns on and off with the receiver. All right, so now let's talk about wattage. So the three high power channels, which are gonna be used for your front sound stage, like your main speakers and your center channel, is gonna be 300 watts into eight ohms and 550 watts into four ohms. The stereo modules, which are gonna be used for your surround speakers, are gonna be 65 watts per channel into eight ohms and 100 watts per channel into four ohms. And if you're not familiar with ohms, you can check the specs on your speakers to see if they're four or eight ohms. So this is gonna be more than enough power to drive my clip speakers. And if you haven't seen my setup, I'll drop a card here at the top of your screen for you to check it out. All right, so now for the big question, did I notice a difference with this amp? Now I have to be honest and tell you that I didn't think I'd notice a big difference with this, but I was so wrong. So for example, when watching an action movie when there's debris falling, music playing, and people talking all at once, I can actually hear each of those things clearly without it sounding compressed like it did before. The best way to 
describe the sound is that it sounds more dynamic, so I'm able to hear things that I couldn't hear before. I'll put it this way, even my wife was able to notice the difference and she could care less about this stuff. So overall, I have to say that I think a dedicated amplifier is worth the investment and it's kind of embarrassing that it took me this long to do it. If you're even remotely interested in improving the sound of your home theater, then a dedicated amp is the way to go. And if you're looking for great quality, then Emotiva is certainly one of the best. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to mash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.